Today I'm going to show you the strength exercises for my sticky hips. I performed these after the mobility work, which I showed yesterday. So if you haven't checked that video out, make sure you check that video out in my IGTV first. All the strength exercises that I'm performing today are what my body needs, so I'm going to be showing some advanced movements. And please, if you choose to implement some of these exercises into your program, make sure that you are injury free and that you are well aware of what your body functionally needs at this time. So don't try anything that you haven't tried before. And if you have questions, you can shoot them in the comments below. Enjoy, and I'll see you guys soon. First, I started off with the dynamic flow. Knee to chest, raising up into releve. First in place, then moving forward and backward. Then another small flow, just to wake up that posterior chain even more. So I performed about four to five reps of both exercises on each side. Let's get started. Using my black TheraBand, I stepped onto the center, and now we're gonna do some squats with bicep curls, but those curls are in slight shoulder external rotation gluing my elbows directly to my sides. After four squats, I hold in my deep squat and then perform single bicep curls alternating. I'll do about three sets of those. Now using the full length tubing, step into the center and start in a split squat position, holding the band in my opposite arm from the front leg. Lunge down, then press and rotate. I'm really initiating from my core here, squeezing my inner thighs together and making sure that I keep my center of gravity between my two legs. I'll do about 10 reps, two sets each side. Now I'm moving forward into a dynamic lunge. Lunge forward, rotate from my core towards the front leg and then push back into a balanced stag position. I performed about 10 repetitions twice on each side. Now we get a little fancy. Starting with some resistance on the upper body, I'm going to move my lower body through some compound movements. It's a side lunge, a rotated side attitude, passe, back to that side attitude, down to the side lunge, and then a squat to transfer my weight from one side to the other. This is a core and hip burner. Now our hips are ready to jump. So I'll perform two split squat jumps into a squat jump. Four repetitions, really trying to keep my weight and center of gravity between my legs. And landing with soft nuances. Now I'm going to hold that squat and challenge my balance up into a four starch position, moving my arms around in circles to really throw my center of weight off, trying to keep everything super stable, and then jumping right back into it about four to five reps of this rotation. I finish off with 10 squat thrust into side plank rotations. I sped this video up, but I move really slow into those side planks, initiating from my core and lifting both hands and feet at the exact same time. After my stretch and cool down, I finalize my practice with a meditation. Meditation neurologically reinforces the strength and conditioning work I just performed. After about 20 minutes, I am prepared to take on the day 